Hey guys, even here and in today's video, we're gonna do something really interesting. We're gonna check if Derek Lansford actually did or did not make improvements this year. Do not worry, we are not gonna be comparing his Mr. Olympia version to his guest posing edition. This can show some things, but a lot of things can be off. For example, his legs now are definitely significantly bigger than they were on the Mr. Olympia stage. But we saw it last year also, in the offseason his legs look like they are his strongest body part, but once he starts dieting down and getting leaner and leaner, that's the first body part that goes away in his case. Some people have dominant legs and they don't lose the legs, so it's not always the legs that get lost, it's not because he's doing a lot of cardio or anything like that, it's just that his legs are his weakest body part and that's why they are going away first. So you can see right here they definitely look bigger. But how much bigger will they look on stage when he dies down? I don't know. The other thing is he is very, very lean right now in the offseason. So he probably won't have to lose too much body fat percent and he probably will be able to keep his foot high, not do a lot of cardio and get in good condition. And so probably he will keep a lot of this tissue on. But we'll see about that. The other thing is also I would say his biceps are definitely looking bigger. They're definitely looking peakier. I don't know if that's gonna go away with dieting, but I feel like we're gonna see an improvement with Derek's arms on the Mr. Olympia stage this year. Yeah, it's usually the last body part that you improve that goes away when you start dieting, but I don't know if biceps can disappear like legs. I don't think so. Also, his lats kind of look bigger now, they're popping even more. And again, his conditioning is extremely good for this part of his offseason, so he doesn't need to die down too drastically for that reason. It's probably gonna be easier to keep the muscle he added, if he added any new muscle. I think he did a little. And I gotta say the calves are looking bigger as well. Now, let's do an actual comparison between this year's guest posing, Pittsburgh Pro, and previous year, 2023, Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, because we got high quality footage of both shows. That's gonna be probably the most accurate comparison. And no, we are not gonna compare him to his 2022 guest posing edition because he definitely made improvements from that year. So last year he was much better. However, I'm looking at this photo right here and honestly here, he probably looks the best I ever saw him ever. I mean, he was here, we didn't know if he was gonna do the open or the 212. So that year he didn't get much bigger than he usually would get in the off season when he was doing the 212. I'm looking at this photo and I'm thinking, is this real? I mean, I found this on his account, but this kind of looks photoshopped. Is this photoshopped? I'm also looking at this right now and I'm thinking, well, here he probably looked even leaner than this year. And then at the Mr. Olympia 2022, he was definitely, he definitely lost these legs, these arms, these lats. He was not this big on stage. Check it out. And also his conditioning in 22 was worse than 23 when he won the Mr. Olympia. And as you can see, his legs were definitely down in size. They looked much bigger at guest posing. You can especially see the difference in comparison to Hadi. Here, Hadi was definitely bigger, but next year, Derek got to Hadi's size. So if this was the case back in 2022, how much muscle will he actually lose this year? Because he didn't blow up in the offseason. He is in condition. This is 2022. As you can see, this conditioning is definitely comparable to the conditioning of today, of 2024, guest posing Pittsburgh Pro. Alright, now let's get to it. Let's see the comparison between the 2023 and 2024 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. The video on the left is from this year and on the right is from last year and obviously the angle is not exactly the same so it's difficult to compare but you can compare the impressiveness of these two variations. I think you can also notice that on the left this year he looks a little bit leaner and on the right I think he looks a little bit bigger. Now the difference in overall size or like in, in improvements in certain body parts I don't see a lot of changes to be honest. I think I would say that last year looked probably a little bit more impressive because he was, I would say he was bigger, he was more blown up pretty much everywhere. This year, yeah, a little bit leaner, but overall I definitely don't see any big drastic improvements. Now there are chances that I'm wrong, that I'm not seeing this right. If you guys think otherwise, you can also say down below in the comment section. There could also be a possibility that he just doesn't want to get any bigger. Maybe he thinks he's already big enough. He just needs to maintain his midsection, maybe work on conditioning, and that's about it. 
Or it could be simply that, you know, he became a father recently and becoming the Mr. Olympia as well. He had to travel the world and he couldn't focus that much on his improvement season. Now, if I'm right, and I think I am, I don't think he made any significant improvements in terms of muscularity this year. The potential problem with this is that even though last year, in my opinion, unlike the opinion of every single man, woman and child from Iran, he did deserve, Derek did deserve to win that Mr. Olympia. He was not, Hari was not robbed, Derek was not gifted, I think he deserved to win that title. He was overall simply the guy with the least flaws and that's it. But again, the potential problem is that he barely got that win. He barely squeaked into that first position. It was extremely close, especially between him and Hadi. And the thing is, Hadi was not in his best conditioning this show. Next year, actually this year, at the Arnold Classic, he proved to us that he can come in much, much sharper, much more conditioned with the same muscularity or even more muscle. With glutes even as dry as Derek's, hamstrings, lower back, everything was just in pretty much similar condition from behind, like Derek at the Mr. Olympia, and also with an improved back, or at least it looked better when it was dry like this. If we go back to the Mr. Olympia, we know what were the weaknesses of Derek Lansford. He was simply not as sharp as Hadi from the front. Quads, chest, shoulders, it was definitely significantly different. If this year Derek comes with conditioning from the front, like from behind, which we never saw, not even in the 212 division, but if he does it somehow, he's going to lose some of that fullness in the legs, in the chest, in the shoulders, what will that look like? Here is what his legs looked like in 2023, in the off-season. They blew up like crazy. They honestly looked like his best body part that off-season. That wasn't the case on stage, and also his conditioning in his off-season was phenomenal. This is obviously during the prep, I'm not sure at which point, but it was before he was stage ready. He still had to keep dieting from this point, and as he was getting leaner, he was losing. Slowly but certainly he was losing this leg fullness. His legs did not look anything like this on stage. Here, his legs look like big Rami's legs. And this was definitely not the case on Mr. Olympia stage. Like I said, a potential reason for him not pushing the limits this year was because he had to do so many appearances, so many things as the main promoter of the IFBB because he is the main ambassador of the sport. He is the Mr. Olympia, the best bodybuilder in the world. Last year, when Hadi was Mr. Olympia, he did no appearances. He was nowhere. Not on social media, he was nowhere on the map. And people are speculating that the reason why they stripped him of his uh, Mr. Olympia title was exactly that. Because he wasn't there, he wasn't doing a part of his job. It's not only about how good you look on that day, it's what you do later to promote the sport. At least that's what people are saying. I don't know if it's true, but it could be true. So, if this year they punish Derek and he loses Mr. Olympia title... Is any new Mr. Olympia going to do what Derek was doing? Or should they all just have the mindset of, you know, wanting to improve and not really caring about promoting the sport? In my opinion, like I said last year, it was extremely close between these two guys. And the reason they picked Derek could be that they thought he was a better ambassador. So as long as it is very, very close, they can choose the guy that makes more sense for the business. And if it is a big, big difference, then they can't do that. They can't just embarrass themselves. The judges can't judge wrongly. But again, if it is close, then yeah, being a Mr. Olympia reigning champ and doing all the things necessary to help the business of bodybuilding of IBB, then yeah, Derek will have a certain advantage. But again, is it going to be enough? Is Hadi going to be that much better? Because I think Hadi is driven like crazy right now. I think he's focused on improving. I think he was ever since he lost the Mr. Olympia title. He was really focused. He made crazy improvements for the Arnold Classic. And now he started prepping for the Mr. Olympia. And I think he's going to give it all he's got. So Derek better be ready. Better be improved, honestly. If he's the same like last year, which I think is probably going to be the case, maybe with minor changes, but I don't see a crazy change then I don't know. I would say right now, based on what I'm seeing, based on what I saw from Hadi, 
I think we're gonna have a new old Mr. Olympia. I think Hardy is gonna be Derek Langsford. Unless, of course, I don't know, Nick Walker comes in looking insanely crazy and he beats everybody, or Samson Dauda does that, or Andrew Jack, maybe. We don't know, we'll see. But as for right now, that's what I think, guys. If you disagree with me, you're free to tell me down below. Whatever is on your mind, just comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.